नमस्ते स्वास्थ्य खबर को विशेष प्रस्तुति स्वास्थ्य संवाद को बाईसों एपिशोड में यहाँ हार्दिक स्वागत है म डाक्टर सुभाष पैकुर आज को कार्यक्रम में विशेष अतिथि का रूप में हमीसंग एकजना विश्वविख्यात वैज्ञानिक हो चिली स्थित यूनिवर्सिटी अफ लेडोस एंडेस का प्राध्यापक जो खाऊ निको होने प्रक्रिया में अध्यता होस को अनुसंधान कर वहाँ ने सृजना देखा पद्धति अलग संसार भर नई लोकप्रिय हो वहाँ हो प्राध्यापक डॉक्टर नेल्सन आर पेन्टो वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू इन द प्रोग्राम सर थैंक यू टू मेक एवरी वन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एक्जैक्टली द रिसर्च यू हेव बीन डुइंग इन दैट फील्ड अफ टिश्यू रिजनरेसन Well, I've been in, involved in the last 30 years, and specific in the last 20 years, more involved in uh, wound healing research. Wound healing. Wound healing. Okay. How to improve the wound healing okay. of any tissue, okay. uh, not uh, a specific tissue, because I'm a dentist. Uh, I start to work in, a, in the mouth and the oral cavity. Okay. But uh, then I realized that there were many type of wounds that mm -hmm. were not healing well, mm -hmm. and at some point, uh, I realized that most of those wounds could be treated in the same way. Why patients should love this technology? Well, I think there are many advantages. Mm -hmm. uh, after, I would say for me, one of the main advantages is after all these years that we have used in this, mm -hmm. more than 15 okay. years, there have never been one report for negative effect or mm -hmm. adverse, adverse okay. effect. So <coughs> it's completely safe to use it. Because it's 100% autologous, 100% mm -hmm. natural, natural autologous, autologous, mm -hmm. and no chemicals, no additives. Okay. So mm -hmm. it's nothing that's coming from outside your okay. body. And since it's autology, your body would not reject it. Oh. So, so there is uh, no chance of rejection. No chance of rejection. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's completely safe, safe. for every patient. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter the condition of the patient. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's one of the main advantages. The other one is that we have been observing that you know you can really get truly regeneration. Okay. So it can really be used for any type of wound. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter the theology. Okay. So mm -hmm. for me now a wound is a wound. Okay. And any uh -huh. wound, surgical wound, chronic wound, uh, whatever, a burns, traumatic wounds. Okay. Any wound mm -hmm. can be treated by this therapy. And the other benefit is the cost. Cost, okay. The cost is, is almost free. Almost Be free. Almost it's your free. own thing yeah. and you are applying in your own body. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think when the patients realize that they are providing everything, <laughs> oh, okay. maybe they should charge for it. Oh, okay. uh, but yeah, it's the cost is extremely low because so the only the operation cost will be yeah, counted the, on the yeah the centrifuge mm -hmm. investment uh -huh. and uh, every tube that is one or nine or nine or ten mm -hmm. mls that you extract okay and usually you extract between mm -hmm. uh, 80 to 100 150 mm -hmm. uh, cc's of blood okay. per treatment <coughs> so uh, of course the knowledge it's, it's important because mm -hmm. that's, that's the most important thing now to really know how to use it, when to use it, and how to prepare it. So knowledge transfer is also easier yeah. rather than in other technology. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's quite mm -hmm. important now because it, uh, that's the key of success. Okay, uh, this is a new technology and this is going to replace all the uh, economically led technologies or some expensive technologies which manufacturers had been entertaining. So do you think there is chance of counter force or challenges or blocking forces for the technology like this? No, there's no chance for that. This is the reality. <laughs> I, can, okay. I, can, I can tell <laughs> you that that's a reality. Uh -huh. Every time that you come with something that I'm not saying that this will replace everything. Mm -hmm. This is not magic. This is not something that will uh, 
replace everything that is in the market. Okay. I think there are <coughs> many things that they can be enhanced mm -hmm. by using this. They can be mixed with this okay. and get better results. So this is not coming to replace everything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a new tool, new tool that can be used in a different way mm -hmm. by itself or enhancing other techniques mm -hmm. or uh, maybe in the future, I don't know if it could be used by itself only for many, many things. But now it's just, I consider this is a, a new tool that can be used. But the industry doesn't, mm -hmm. they don't see this as a new tool. They think, they think that it's, it's here that we are trying to, you know, put all those things away. And I think they are completely wrong. They, they should see how this, uh, we, you can get a synergy okay. between this and whatever you want to use or, or other techniques. Well, uh, you are here for the conference. You are here <clears throat> for transferring the knowledge, right? So what advantages Nepal, the country like Nepal, can have with this technology? Well, uh, first I, I will should highlight that Nepal from the beginning, I think like three years ago, mm -hmm. they, they saw us through the, the Dr. Suchil uh, vision that this could be something very helpful in Nepal. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> not because, I, I always say this is not because of the cost. Okay. It's because what can you achieve with this? Mm -hmm. and, and how many patients you can, you can benefit Okay. So it's, it's not as if you're a rich country or a poor country, uh -huh. it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's just if when you realize the benefit that you can get mm -hmm. from this, uh, you really improve the quality of your patient and, and you reduce the morbidity of your patient. Let's say you want to extract a tooth. Mm -hmm. Usually the gold standard should be if you want to place an implant after some time, you will have to buy very expensive biomaterial okay. mm -hmm. and put it in the, that socket that is, mm -hmm. is after the extraction. But if you only use LPRF, okay. that <coughs> it will cost almost nothing. Mm -hmm. In three months, you will, have, you will regenerate the bone and the soft tissue okay. and you can place an implant. Mm -hmm. And the patient, without having to, to pay that high cost, also the recovery of that uh, uh, small mm -hmm. surgery, it will be with less pain, and it will be less inflammation, and will heal faster. So okay. there are many advantages. So. Uh, okay. Uh, in many a times, uh, there is a kind of fear in the country like Nepal that this kind of product uh, is a research product and it's it's being applied in Nepal without the knowledge that it's a research product. Uh, is it a research product or it's already in the market, it's already accepted, published, or like that? What's the level of acceptance? Well, first, this is, this is not a pharma pharmacology product. Okay. Because, mm -hmm. let's say, it doesn't need to be tested. <laughs> okay. Because it's your own blood. It's your own blood. It's uh -huh. your own blood. Ah, yeah. It's, it's like... <laughs> That's it's the like answer, a, yeah. If, if mm -hmm. you cut your hand, you will bleed. Mm -hmm. And that will form a cloth on your wound mm -hmm. that will start the healing process. Mm -hmm. Now, you got the same wound. Mm -hmm. I will extract some blood. Okay. And I will prepare that blood. Mm -hmm. So, and I put the blood back <laughs> on your wound. Okay. So, but the difference is that what I'm putting back in your wound is like a super cloth. It's mm -hmm. like a concentration of all the factors, all that is proteins that are needed mm -hmm. to heal any okay. wound. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, I just modify the way that the blood get into your mm -hmm. wound. So I'm not buying anything. Mm -hmm. This is not any drug, okay. any pharmacological. Mm -hmm. So there's no need okay. to, to justify for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, of course, this has been validated. Mm -hmm. uh, we have been studying this for almost 20 years now. 20 years? 20 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. My experience in uh, 
in wound healing with LPRF, it's about over 15, 17 years now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in vitro animal studies. Mm -hmm. Human applications is over 12 years now. Okay. In every area. You, you started mainly in horses? Well, I started, I, I did, let's say, I didn't discover that, this, I just, I saw that this. Okay. <laughs> when I was treated, I, I, I always say that we never discover or develop anything. Everything okay. is out in the nature. Uh, okay. Whatever, it's whatever it's we your do. your observation and conversion only. Right. Yeah. Okay. I just, I was in the right place at the right time and when the enough experience and knowledge to okay. see that something was going on different from regularly. Okay. Uh, so that's what I was treating horses okay. with wounds. And one day there was a, a horse that was going to put down because uh, it was very badly injured. Uh -huh. And I don't know why. I, I was working at that time with okay. this. Okay. I, I just thought, and I, I knew the veterinarian, so I asked her, why don't you let me try something? Uh -huh. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if this is going to heal or the horse or going to save uh -huh. the horse, but I just got the feeling uh -huh. that I would like to see what okay. happened. Uh -huh. So I did it. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. after a week, what we saw was completely amazed. It blew out my mind. Okay. Uh -huh. So I, I realized at that moment that I was in front of something that I didn't know okay. anything about. That was the way that the wound was behaving uh, with the application of this uh, LPRF, it was completely different of okay. anything that I had seen before. Mm -hmm. So, we reapply that, well, the end of the story that the, I say the horse. Okay. The horse is still alive today. Wow. It's not, it's not going to win the Kentucky Derby, <laughs> but, but it's alive. Mm -hmm. And then we start working with uh, another horses, then we, do, we apply it in dogs, mm -hmm. and after a few years, uh, we decide to move to humans. Okay. And a specific to chronic wounds. Mm -hmm. Why chronic wounds at that moment? Because those wounds uh, that we treated at the beginning mm -hmm. were people that were already treated from many different ways, mm -hmm. and the wound didn't hit at all. Mm -hmm. Means they were having this wound for 10, 12, 15, 20, 23 years okay. without mm -hmm. healing. Mm -hmm. So, it wouldn't do any harm to do something that maybe could help. And we realized at that moment that most of those wounds will heal very fast in a few weeks. So, what's the acceptance, reward or response from the world regarding this? I guess uh, you are offered with one renowned uh, some uh, award as well for this? Well, in, in 2000. Uh, 12, mm -hmm. I present in Japan, mm -hmm. it was the, the fourth uh, World Congress mm -hmm. of the World Union Society okay. of Wound Healing. It's the biggest congress in the world mm -hmm. about wound healing. Actually, it's every four years. Okay. They call it the Olympics mm -hmm. of, the, of the wound healing mm -hmm. because it's about nine to ten thousand people that go Nine there. to ten thousand people. Yeah. So, there Oli were Olympic of wound healing only on wound healing ah, okay. and uh, usually they are present like uh, 1,000 to 1,200 after. Okay. So it's <laughs> huge. It's huge. So uh, I present there uh, 10 years of research of this mm -hmm. on human. Okay. And we, uh, we received the, the, the first prize for the, oh. the best oral research presentation okay. on wound healing. Mm -hmm. So that that really kicked up. You no, know, they, they it was a big recognition, okay. mm -hmm. and so people were start looking at this our research. Mm -hmm. I was invited to Belgium, to Europe. So I've been around um, all around the world mm -hmm. showing this. So in uh, four years later, there was the fifth congress of this uh, mm -hmm. World Union Society. It was in Italy. And uh, at that time, now we have many, many uh, study, m more research, ma thousands of patients that have been treated. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, we introduced a new concept that was the, the LPRF 
as a human living tissue, mm -hmm. and that could be used as a skin graft okay. to replace the skin graft. Mm -hmm. So it means that you don't have to make another wound mm -hmm. to solve so another wound. wound. Yeah. So if, if you get a, have a donor site to apply in the reception site, then you have two wounds. Mm -hmm. So now we uh, introduce the concept of using LPRF as a skin graft okay. for malignant skin lesion. Mm -hmm. That was very challenging uh, situation. And uh, we received, uh, we were awarded with the, the best clinical contribution of the last four years between okay. 2012 and 2016. So that really gave us a, a very uh, tremendous, uh -huh. I would say, uh, support okay. in, the, in the scientific community and the medical community. So even many people still don't understand what this is about because it looks so simple. Uh -huh. It's so cheap mm -hmm. that people think that uh, they could not believe that <laughs> can be that good. Okay. Uh -huh. So it seems it's going to be a game changer in this uh, tissue healing wound healing process. Yes. So we thanks for your time here. We wish you all the very best. I really appreciate it, and I I, I really appreciate what uh, Nepal is doing in, in this area because I think. Uh, you can become uh, one of the leaders opinions in especially like the for the lepra patient that's completely new in the world we're delighted thank you thank you